Here he is, a champion twice over. Wow. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion and the 24-7 Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two? It has to be immense. Standing tall with both of his titles. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Frazier, sure knows how to soar. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds. Nathan Frazier, the young high flyer, ready to get this thing going here. Daredevil ways, fearless attitude. Frazier is the real deal. We've never seen him give anything less than his all in the ring. And tonight should be no different. Absolutely, Byron. This young man is all about pushing the limits, going all out every time that bell rings. And we'll see if he's ready for the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Uh, whatever Seth wants to be called these days, Corey, one thing does not change. Rollins has always been a dangerous opponent at Seth's core. If this lands, it's over. Holy, what a Phoenix Blast by Rollins. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, my God. Fails to hit the bullseye. Switches it back around. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He steps foot in the ring again. Climbing to the top rope. Here we go. Through the air and connects. Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? If this lands, it's over. You gotta be kidding me. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Inside. Oh my God! Whoa! What a landing! Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Choose any Seth Rollins nickname you want, they're all true. And the WWE Universe can't deny it. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. And the counter from Rollins. Nathan dodges out of that. Missed timing with that springboard. Nathan is undergoing a thrashing. Rollins is set to slay. I hate to say it, but you have to think Rollins' worst enemy in this match might ultimately be himself. I absolutely agree. Rollins goes in expecting victory, and when it doesn't come easily, he tends to get sloppy. My advice to him, don't. If this lands, it's over. Good Lord, Phoenix Splash. One of the most impressive moves I've ever seen. No, stops the count at two. How? How? Boom. Lands the knee. Oh. Rollins showing off his offensive arsenal. Rollins keeping a level head, not expecting victory to just fall into his lap. He went right into that turnbuckle. There they go, looking to put this one away, perhaps with one big high-risk move. 
Opponent on the top rope, going up there to meet them. Avalanche Spanish fly. Twists the arm and a work in the arm and then a kick right to the ribs. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Right to the kidneys from behind. And whatever is Rollins' game plan didn't quite pan out for him there. Frazier looking real motivated in that exchange. Here it comes. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. And Seth Rollins is the winner. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. Nathan Frazier coming to grips with this loss. Congrats to Seth Freaking Rollins. Job well done. I don't think there was ever a doubt in Seth's mind that this would be the outcome.